Weeks ago, Agent Roz Solomon gets a call from her superior, Agent Coulson. He's checking in to see how her vacation is going. The agent says it is nice, but that recently she found evidence of an illegal Roxon toxic waste dumping site underground. When Coulson asks if she has anything to do with the report he just got, saying that Roxon has had a break-in in one of their facilities, Solomon claims ignorance and says if it makes her boss feel better, she can call Thor. At this remark, Coulson realizes she has yet to hear about what happened to her sort of boyfriend. After learning how her god lost his hammer, Roz travels to the moon, finding Mjolnir, but no Thor. Enjoying the atmosphere on the blue side of the moon, she looks on at Earth. S.H.I.E.L.D. keeps getting weaker and losing its allies, while Roxton is getting stronger and more reckless. If only they had something big, something to help them tip the scales. Now, on Roxton Island, Thor does battle with the Destroyer. After knocking each other around a bit, the God of Thunder is shocked to find that the armor has taken her hammer. The Destroyer is being piloted by Odin's brother, Kull the Serpent. The Allfather orders his sibling to use the hammer to teach this woman what happens when she lays her hands on that which belongs to Odin. After the lesson is taught, he wants the armor to bring her and Mjolnir back to Asgardia, so that she may answer for her theft. Meanwhile, in the skies of Midgard, Odin's son is approached by his mother. She tells him of the situation with the other Thor, and says they will need an army to help her. Her son points out that this shouldn't be a problem. They have the Bifrost, and it just so happens that he is holding a list. On the island, Dario Agar, CEO of Roxton, and Malachi, King of the Dark Elves, look on at the battle below. But the king is unconcerned about this battle, and teleports the two to another realm called Alfheim, home of the Light Elves. Cheerfully, Malachi asks for help with murdering a bunch of them, and the CEO complies without hesitation. Back on the island, Thor stands bloody and nearly beaten, but she notices the destroyer is barely able to contain Mjolnir. Using her connection with the hammer, the woman is able to fling the armor across the battlefield before blasting it with a massive explosion of lightning. But the destroyer is far from destroyed. Thor is furious. This is not how it ends. She will not be a footnote in history as the woman who was a god for five days and then fell. This is not how she dies. Her true story hasn't even begun, but it's about to. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of Thor number 7. Now this was a cool comic. I've been more or less enjoying the Thor series, but it has been bugging me that most of the last 6 issues have been obnoxiously teasing secrets I could honestly care less about. This comic was a lot closer to what I wanted out of the new Thor series compared to what I've seen before and now. The action and art remind me a lot of the last series called Thor, God of Thunder, which I found was really well done and very nicely polished. So this comic to me felt like a step forward in the right direction. This issue was full of some pretty strong hints about who the new Thor really is, and it feels far less annoying than the unsubtle and annoying teasing from before. While this issue seems to indicate pretty heavily that Roz is the new Thor, I do feel that this could be a misdirect. What we do know is that all the women depicted here at the end of the comic are no longer candidates for having taken out the hammer, which pretty much leaves it to either being Jane Foster or Roz Solomon. So issue 7 does a good job at narrowing down the possible candidates, but I'm still not sure which of these two it actually is. In either case, it's nice to have an issue of Thor that I both enjoyed and can recommend. This series has only one more issue left before whatever happens in Secret Wars, so until that time, you can look forward to Joey's next review. We're finally going to get some answers, along with a pretty solid battle by the looks of things. This is going to be awesome. So let me know in the comments section below what you guys think is going to happen in the next Thor comic. 
some pretty big things are being built up here, so I expect we'll have some fun going forward. Other than that, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated with all the goings on with our channel. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.